In this video, I'd like to show Illuminated Clouds features for metadata deployment and retrieval. We can begin by showing Illuminated Cloud support for real-time validation and deployment. The goal of real-time validation and deployment is to bridge the gap between Force.com's development as a service model and traditional local development with real-time feedback. The idea is that as you type, you should be provided real-time feedback on syntax errors, and when you save to the file system, you should be deployed directly to the org. You can choose which API is used for each operation based upon which APIs are supported, for example, tooling versus metadata, and whether you compile or deploy. And you can choose this for Apex, Visual Force, and all other metadata in the system. You can also decide whether deployment should happen when lo local errors are present, for example, those that are identified by IDEA's parser. You can choose the delay after you finish typing before real-time validation occurs. I found a value of about five to seven and a half seconds works well, but for the purposes of this demo, I'll choose two and a half seconds. Let's take a look. I'll begin making changes. You'll notice that as I'm making changes, even though it's been two and a half seconds, there's no validation. However, if we make a change in rest for two and a half seconds and the change is syntactically correct, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a validation message. This is not saving to the org, it's just gathering any syntax errors. Now let's make an actual error and see what happens. Within a couple of seconds, validation kicks in, and now the error is shown in the user interface. This is the type of real-time feedback we're accustomed to with traditional editors. By correcting the error and now saving the file to the file system, we can see that it's saved directly through to the organization. These same validation features are available in Visual Force as well. For example, let's add an invalid attribute to the page messages component. Again, within a couple of seconds, you'll see that validation occurs. And once the response is received, the error is shown clearly in the user interface. By correcting the error and saving to the file system, the page is deployed into the organization. Illuminated Cloud also supports editing of static resources using their correct content type based on the information in their metadata file, for example, application JavaScript. And as a result, IDEA handles this as a JavaScript file. We can make any change we want, and when we save it to the file system, it's deployed into the organization, even though we're editing it as if it were a direct JavaScript file. Illuminated Cloud also features special support for editing of .object files because those are rendered into the offline symbol table as stub apex classes. If you make a change to a .object file locally and deploy it, Illuminated Cloud will automatically regenerate only that stub apex class for you. As you can see, in the offline symbol table, the name has been changed accordingly. Now let's look at Illuminated Cloud's bulk metadata deployment features. From module settings, we can choose what subset of metadata is synchronized with the module. All or the selected package, a user-defined package XML, or explicitly selected subset of metadata from the organization. Additionally, you can configure substitution rules for metadata deployment and retrieval, but I've already discussed that in the session on configuration. You find the operations for deployment and retrieval under the Build menu and Illuminated Cloud submenu. For example, incremental deployment, full deployment, and retrieval into the local file system. Let's perform a full deployment first. This is going to deploy all metadata for the current project into the organization according to the filters defined in module settings. Okay, that's complete. So now let's make some changes to a file and look at incremental deployment. In this case, we'll change exactly one class and begin an incremental deployment. You can choose the scope of a deployment as the current module, the module and its dependencies if multiple modules are defined, or all modules in the current project. The current project only has one module, so in this case it doesn't really matter which we choose. You'll notice that it's retrieving the modification dates. This is because Illuminated Cloud is comparing timestamps on the server with timestamps in the file system all time zone adjusted in determining what's been added and modified since the last deployment. It deployed the one file. If we deploy again, if we deploy again, 
Illuminated Cloud will check timestamps and see that there's no work to perform. Now, let's create a number of errors to be reported as part of the deployment. We'll create a syntax error in an Apex class. In a Visual Force page. In a standalone metadata file. And in a static resource. Force.com doesn't actively validate static resource content, so we don't expect this error to be reported. Now let's perform a deployment. Errors reported by deployment are placed in Ideas Problems view for easy perusal and resolution. Let's see the result when this deployment completes. When we open up the problems view, we can see that all three errors have been reported and are available for convenient navigation. Here's the error in the .object file. And here's the error in the Apex class. And of course, the error in the Visual Force page. Now let's go resolve these errors and deploy again. The goal is to provide a seamless experience for the develop, deploy, and problem resolution experience from within the IDE. With the problems resolved, we can incrementally deploy to the organization. And now that the deployment's complete, you'll notice that there are no compilation problems. Finally, let's take a look at bulk metadata retrieval. We'll start a retrieval operation. The metadata is retrieved into a separate location in the file system from the source root and is displayed in IDEA's directory comparison tool. Here we can review changes incoming from the server. We can review differences on files that have them and see files that have been added. In IDF 14 and higher, we can also use an external comparison tool such as Beyond Compare, Araxis Merge, or whatever tool you might find useful. For now, let's return to IDEA's directory comparison tool and decide what subset of the metadata we want to bring over into the local file system. We'll grab this new class as well as the metadata.xml files that were changed. and that ought to do it. Now we can look at the new class and verify that it was added to our local source root. This concludes the overview of Illuminated Cloud's metadata deployment and retrieval features. Thank you very much.